This is all that remains of the packed minibus. A grenade hurled at the vehicle as it passed through the Nairobi neighborhood of Eastleigh. Populated by thousands of Somalis and nicknamed Little Mogadishu. It's the fourth attack in less than a month that has rocked the Kenyan capital. Among the targets, immigrants trying to escape the violence back at home. I heard a loud bang and all of a sudden realized that I had been lifted off the ground. When I got back to my feet, I realized I was alive. I just thank God. This deadly assault was carefully targeted and struck hard. The survivors taken to hospital. More than two dozen of them. The grenade was held uh, inside the Matatu, so most of the casualties that we have here were the, were the passengers uh, inside the vehicle. This is the latest in a string of deadly attacks in East Africa's economic hub, almost certainly linked to Kenya's military push in neighboring Somalia. It's a year since Kenyan troops were sent in to crush al-Shabaab militants across the border. With close links to al-Qaeda, they're seen as a threat to tourism and regional security. In recent weeks, the troops have dislodged the militants from key strategic strongholds. But now it seems the Kenyan public is paying a heavy price. Karen Allen, BBC News.